Now today we are going to talk about IDOX, okay? How to take an IDOX? No matter which company you are going, you will have IDOX, okay, for sure. Though you may have web service and um, a REST APIs and all those things, but IDOX will be there always. Okay, so the uh, the easy transaction to check any IDOC is WE02. And here you have different status. Okay, so the status is very important to understand because based on the status and based on the traffic light signal, you traffic light signal light, you will see, you will be able to understand what status is important and what status is not. Okay, so let's go. This, this is spinning because probably... It's a little slow. Let me go to another transaction and I'll show you from there. WE02. Okay, and I'll just execute. And probably I'll just put 2019. I hope there will not be much. Uh, it's spinning. So here, any status which is 51 is not good. Any status which is 53 is always good. Okay, this is very important. You try to understand this. This is very now you might say, okay, IDOC, how, how you check IDOCs, okay? So if I want to see an IDOC, I double click on it. Once I go to double click on it, this is the data data record, okay? You will have different segments and other stuff. So based on the segments, you will get the IDOCs. So these are different IDOCs. So now I will check one which is green, okay? And here you can see this is, this is the IDOC data. The IDOC data is a little nasty to look, okay? But you have to go through segments. So these are hierarchy. Okay. Uh, this this so WE02 is very important. That's the that's one important transaction that you are going to use for sure. Okay. So here you can click on the same thing if you're a keyboard or you can double click and get this information. Okay. So this is generally uh, the place one someone from base system or someone from development team should monitor and accordingly check this ideally everything should be there but it doesn't have a green but it doesn't happen there is something red and then you can try to reprocess it and don't reprocess you can reprocess it in production through a workflow or something but um, but otherwise you know you can ask the satellite system which is sending the IDOC uh, to tell whether to send it uh, again so this is here. Another thing is, if you notice, this is inbound, everything that is coming in. And there are outbounds, that is anything that is going out. So so generally, if I go here, I click into the invoice. These are the invoice ones, OK, that, I, that, that has come. So if I double click on one of them, you can see all these invoice things. So E1, E D, K, this is the stuff. And the, I think the purchase order and other stuff gets stored here. So here you can see the purchase order. So, so that's it for uh, how to check an IDOC in WE02 transaction. Uh, stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. Thank you and have a great day.